So we have calculated minus 13.9 uh, to be at the base 10 is e approximately equal to minus 1.1 uh, radix point 101 uh, base 2 times 2 to the power uh, 0, 1, 1 base 2. And now what we want to be able to see is that uh, we have these 8 bits which we have reserved for this floating point. I want to see that how we're going to place them and where, we, where we're going to place them. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits. We already have said that the first bit is assigned to the sign of the number. The second bit is assigned uh, to the sign of the exponent. Uh, in the real, uh, actual 32-bit uh, format, uh, with IEEE standards, you don't have a bit uh, assigned to sign of exponent, but uh, in order to keep things simple and to introduce you to floating point representation, we are uh, keeping a bit for the sign of the exponent. And then the next three bits we are using for the exponent itself, and the last three bits we are using for uh, the mantissa. So let's look at how we can fill in these eight bits with the representation of minus 13.9. Uh, the first bit is for the sign of the number. Since the sign of the number is negative, we're going to put a 1 there. If it were a positive number, we would have put a 0 in there. Now, we, the second bit is for the sign of the exponent. So the sign of the exponent, again, which you're seeing here, is a positive uh, number. So that will be a 0 there. And then what we have is the uh, exponent itself. The exponent is 0, 1, 1. So I'll put 0, 1, 1 right here. And then I have the mantissa which will be 1, 0, 1. Again, keep in mind that we don't need to represent this 1 here before the radix point because that's automatically assumed it to be a non-zero number. And in, in binary format, the only non-zero number is 1. So that's why we don't represent this 1 in this mantissa here. It's understood that uh, before the radix point, there's a, uh, there's a 1 before the radix point in the mantissa. So that's what the representation would be for this minus 13.9. Now, as I said that, this is approximately equal to that number. So let's go and see that. Uh, what does it mean that it is approximately equal to that number? How much is the amount of true error which has been caused by representing in this 8-bit representation? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not go and uh, use this. I'm going to use this to show you how to go get back to this here. So if somebody gives you 8-bit representation like this one and says that, hey, the first is for the sign of the number, second one is for the sign of the exponent, the third one, the next three are for the exponent, and the next three are for the mantissa, what you first need to do is, like, let's go to the sign of the number, so it's a negative number. Uh, let's then go to the mantissa. So since the mantissa is 1, 0, 1, I'm going to write 1, 0, 1 here, put the radix point here, and put the automatic 1 right here, and this in the base 2. And then I'm going to look at uh, multiply by 2 raised power the sign of the exponent, which is, uh, I have a 0 in there, so it's a positive number. And then I'm going to look at what's in the exponent, which is 0, 1, 1. So I'm going to put 0, 1, 1, base 2 right there. And now I'm going to translate it into base 10. So this is negative 1 times 2 to the power uh, 0, which is this one, plus 1 times 2 to the power minus 1, which is this one plus 0 times 2 to the power minus 2, which is this one, uh, plus 1 times 2 to the power minus 3, which is this one right here, times uh, 2 raised power, uh, uh, 0, 1, 1 here, will be 0 times 2 to the power 2, plus 1 times 2 to the power 1, plus 1 times 2 to the power 0. Because this is 2 to the power 0, this one, this one is 2 to the power 1, and this one is 2 to the power 2, and that's why it's a 0, 1, 1 here, like this one. And when I calculate this, uh, this number here uh, turns out to be 1.625, so the number which is uh, represented in the mantissa is 1.625 in the base 10, and then uh, times 2 to the power 3, which I'm getting there. And that's uh, equal to minus 13 uh, base 10. That's what it's turning out to be. So what you're finding out is that you are starting with minus 13.9 to base 10, representing it in the 8-bit format like it is shown, but uh, the equivalent, uh, what you are actually representing is only minus 13 part of that minus 13.9 number. 
So if we go to look at the relative true error, absolute relative true error, which has been created by representing minus 13.9, which is the exact value, minus the approximate value, which is the representation in the in the in, in the eight bit format, divided by minus 13.9, which is the exact value. And this number here turns out to be 0 0.0647. And now the question arises: well, How is this related to the machine epsilon? How is this number here uh, uh, related to the machine epsilon? It is because it will be less than two to the power minus the number of bits which are used for the mantissa, which in this case is three, right? So we're using three bits for the mantissa. Though, so your machine epsilon is two to the power minus the number of bits which are used for mantissa, which is 0 0.125. So you are finding out that this number is less than the machine epsilon here. So you'll always find out that uh, till the number, uh, t the numbers which are going to be represented in this 8-bit format, if you look at the relative true error of any of the numbers which can be represented in the 8-bit format, the relative true error in the representation will be always less than uh, the machine epsilon, in this case being 0 0.125. And that is the end of this segment.